Hey, 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 hey. This particular objective is about binomial distribution, finding the mean and the standard deviation. Please remember, a binomial distribution is a specific type of discrete random variable that has the following criteria. It has T for two-ness, means it's either successful or it's failure. I, independence. The probability of success is not affected by any situation that happened previously. N, fixed number of trials. It doesn't change. And S is your probability of success. It's going to be consistent throughout this entire um, exercise. Let me go back up to tens. The book refers to it as bins because they say that it's called it's binary. Well, binary is like you hear bio. It has two, like, binoculars, bicycle. It has two. But um, I just like the word two-ness, and you can do it whichever way you'd like. Now, with that being said, this formula right here gives me the probability of success, and then this formula right here gives me the mean and the standard deviation of a binomial distribution. So... Go to your page 13. Nope, page 14, and go ahead and write in these definitions. Now go to page 15 and go ahead and read that scenario. I'm looking specifically at problem number 82. So what we see going on here is that we have a lie detector. And with the lie detector, it's given to a truthful person, and they're saying that it's a 2% probability of suggesting that the person is deceptive. Okay, we have 12 job applicants, and um, we are looking to assess their truthfulness. So suppose we have 12 trustworthy um, answers, X is going to represent the number of people who the lie detector test says is deceptive. So, here, I need to find and interpret the mean. Well, here's the formula, but come on, let's do this logically. If there are 12 people that are um, applicants, and we're saying 20% of those 12 people are considered deceptive, what do you do? You just multiply 12 times 0.2 to get 2.4. Now remember, this is on average because there's no such thing as a 2.4 person. You're the whole person or you're not a whole person. But here's the thing, just do the math, okay? Another scenario, what if you, if 10,000 people applied to um, a specific college and there's a 17% chance of you being accepted into that college. So with all things being equal, which we know they most definitely aren't when it comes to college applications, how are you going to do this? You're just going to multiply it, okay? So to get your answer to be 1,700 students will be accepted. Now, and as we do the interpretation, please remember this is an expected count. This is how many people how many applicants in this situation. So we expect that 2.4% 2, 2 of the people um, to be, I should say, perceived defective out of this group of 12 applicants. And I cannot forget the, the caveat that that's after um, testing many groups. So now, here, finding, the, finding and interpreting the standard deviation. Now, when it comes to this, yes, you have to, I want to say you're going to have to have a glimmer of the formula. This was logical. This one, not so much. So remember, here's the formula that we wrote down a couple minutes ago. And N represents your probability of success. P, uh, I'm sorry, N represents the fixed number, which is 12 people. Okay, P represents your probability of success. In this case, success is being considered deceptive. And here's a probability of um, not being deceptive. So take it, plug it in, chug it out. 
And what does this mean? This means after you have many groups of um, many groups of twelve applicants, we're expecting that there is going to be a variability of approximately one point three away from the mean, typically when we're trying to see who was declared deceptive or not. Okay, now let's go to problem eighty four and highlight it. Now as I look at problem number 84, 84 82 was saying that X that they, they were declared deceptive. In this case, Y is that the machine says that they're truthful. So our question is, explain to me how these relate. So do the math first. Now, if you do the math, you're going to recognize that your probabilities are going to be the same. Your probability of them being truthful, having finding 10 or more people, probably of 10, probability of 11, probability of, of 12, is equal to the probability of finding fewer, um, finding two or fewer that are deceptive. Well, that makes sense because here you are a liar or perceived to be a liar I should say when it comes to X and here you're honest or perceived to be honest for the Y so it does make sense that they're gonna be the same values because this is two fewer lying and here's ten or more that are being um, truthful now the next thing I want to do is calculate the mean and the standard deviation. So you've got the equation, plug it in. Here you've got 12, you've got 80% are considered to um, be, be truthful. Just do the math. And please note here that this 9.6 that you got for the mean of being truthful plus the 2.4 where you got from the mean of being deceptive added up to be all the 12 people. Well, that makes sense. Now let's look at standard deviation. Here, plug it in, and notice here, notice the standard deviation here, and here. What? Yes, they are the same. Okay, so that is it for finding the mean and the standard deviation of this specific type of discrete random variable given a binomial distribution. So, peace out. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.